five. Thank you again for that five dollars. Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> we'll money match later. I'll win it back. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I won a money match against Surf's Up earlier, so I, I, I took a little bit of money from Neo. I'm sending it back to Neo. It's fine. It's That's the economy. Fine. You know? yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. But these guys again—they faced off at Redacted um, at that tournament in December. That was also in Northeast Ohio, um, late December of 2017. Cobalt was actually upset in winner's quarters by Fizzle, a puff that got 7th place at this event um, from Columbus, Ohio. He made it a crazy loser's run beating me, Cal, Dreff, and a bunch of players, and took one set off of a Bates, who then won grands from um, losers in set 2. I do believe that Cobalt won between these guys at Fight Pit 8, so they've clearly traded sets back and forth um, over the past few months, and I don't think that there is a clear favorite here. I think the crowd favorite is going to be clearly a Bates. Clearly, yeah. Anytime he's in the Midwest, he's got fans behind his back. Well, I do love me some Bates, especially for how long I've known the dude. I've known him for like six years. Yeah. Um, I, do, I would like to see Colin win. For the Midwest, um, I'm thinking... A bait, yeah. I'm thinking a bait. Yeah. I mean, that's understandable. At the end of the day, what I really want is good man. I want to see less SDs. I want to see more red clips. Ooh, yeah. Very nice up air getting back onto the stage to knock a bait up. Second hit, no opportunity to SDI that. Yep. Ooh. Amazing Nair from the baits. Not We're going to see a lot of this. Covers the edge though, very nice. Ramen noodles, Cobalt smiling a bit. That was really fast. Yeah. Didn't look like he was expecting that. Um. So here, here's another thing too, like a bait, when, you, when you're playing him, he'll make you think like the edge is safe. Oh no. Steals the jump and Cobalt getting a huge lead here. Crouch cancel from No, mid. not again, no way. Takes the up smash, okay. Up, up tilt. tilt. And that's a decent trade because he stays in center. Ooh, shot. Serve him that pizza. <laughs> I love oh, that from the pain, yeah. Love that he does that. He's like the one of the only Luigi's that does, does that. The, the good mix-up's there, he lands with a really late nair, or he'll land with nothing and grab. Yep. So it's it's basically a perfect 50-50 mix-up unless they preemptively do something. Yeah, he'll usually do it intentionally on shield uh, when Ooh. he's close to the edge, because then he can get that uh Oh yeah, and we saw in the ginger set, whenever Cobalt's in that spot, he likes going high. He doesn't like going to the ledge when he thinks you might call him out for going to the ledge. Right. So Look at that, that's so safe. Yeah. Even though he got the uh... What is this? This is weird. We knew this was going to be a weird set. We knew doing? it. Oh, what is he going to do? Does he need a misfire? I feel like he needs one. Yeah. Wow. Even the weird hitbox of the up smash is going to do it at that percent. Do you have a name for that, by the way? Um, a name for probably the soccer kick. I was thinking the same thing. Were you really? Yeah. I li I'm not even lying. Like No one else has said like the soccer kick to me. I think I call it the soccer kick. Wow. You're the first person. That That's a kind of special bond that I think led them to put us on top of I'm actually really happy that you said that. I can't even tell you. Anyways, um, okay, Luigi forcing his way back onto the stage with the down air. Oh, that could be huge. Is gonna be, no? Yeah, they only covered one option. Yep. Ooh, a bait tried to cross up with the grab. Wave dash is a bit too far. He still has center stage. I Full love, ball rolling in. I love when we just do that. When they have that, uh, they, they neutralize the uh, the movement Ooh. of their dash by wave dashing the other way or whatever. Or they wait and dash and then they dash. I forgot how you do it. I'd love to see a bait just go out there and call out the up B, but he's not going to be able to in game one. Not in game one. Damn. Wow. And Cobalt was really, really patient in a lot of really tense positions right. late in that game during last dock. Mm -hmm. Really helped him out. He was just really comfortable in his shield, basically daring a bait to risk landing near it and grabbing. Which, of course, you can't do safely because if Fox decides to do something frantically out of shield, Okay, so normally, You're done. so this is actually kind of weird. Normally, um, a bait hates the stage. I mean, he hates FD. Really? Now I'm going to assume that he's going to try to do the um, chain grab here. That's the only reason why I could say that he would go here. Oh, he barely magnet hands back. It is. Mm -hmm. It's stupid how much, how much like uh, like it'll grab. Like we just able to grab the. Uh, oh, it might be it. I think he needs a misfire, which he gets one, and it's still not he enough. Still covers it. Yeah. Yeah. Good positioning by Cobalt. He earns himself a slight lead here. Oh. Wow. And a bait ready to cover that. He gave away the ledge for free. Cobalt doesn't take it. 
feel like he wasn't ready to cover that. That's why, like, nothing really happened there. Like, just you got, like, a little bit of awkwardness and just try to hit each other, you know? Yeah, but this isn't good to see. A bait kind of rolling his eyes after getting gimped there. This is, of course, a tough matchup, but yeah. when you pick Luigi at the character select screen, you gotta ex kind of expect and accept that things like that are just gonna happen. Yeah, I'm starting to see why a, um, a bait, like, would rather go to this stage, just because even though Whereas probably most of other characters, especially like Marth, for example, sure. he's always going to get juggled. He can't come down, he can't come down. It's a little bit easier with oh, Fox no. because he's able to trade those uh, those down airs or maybe even that nair with uh, with Fox's up. Oh Whoa, my that god. was so fast. Oh my god. There's, There's no, no way. way he can make it. Oh no! Of course he makes it back. He's a bait. He just I seriously think that like he just goes into a set, he sold his soul to the devil, and he has so many per set. He can pull them out whenever he wants. He does have a finite amount, I will say that. But he, he has like three or four every set. Limited number of cookies in the jar. Like and nobody that. will ever be able to convince me otherwise. <laughs> it's like that meme. Uh, a bait, a bait can miss fire when he wants to change my mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, he's at quite the deficit now, though. Yeah. Still not clear why he chose this stage. I'm just thinking late for the movement. That's the only thing I can really think of. Otherwise, yeah, this is kind of tough. Because, like, even though, like, that improves his movement. Wow, that was such a good angle. I didn't think that was possible. Yeah, even though it improves his movement and he doesn't have to worry about getting juggled um, up, like, as much because it's Fox. It's still Fox. Fox has been around pretty well. Cold Ball repeatedly has been teching in, and Abate seems to always be wanting to tech in place, or cover tech in place, rather. Right. I thought that was actually the kill. Not. But Cold Ball. <laughs> Three stocking him now. Yeah. So what was Game the, one was so close, yeah. and then after that, he's just been running away with it. Now, I think he's got, I think he's got his number down now. But I think we're going to be seeing a different stage for sure. Yeah, back yeah. to Battlefield. Yeah. And this I actually like. Um, he still wants to have like these platforms, like to be able to uh, convert a little bit better. Um, wants to be able to have a little bit more space. That's why he's not gonna like Yoshi or like, Fountain. Oh no! Unfortunate SD. A bait is gonna take that. I did just want to point out that again he covers tech in place with down smash. I don't think it's worked in the past four or five times he's had that read. Yeah, that sucks. Oh. See, okay, so here's what I'm noticing. That's um, the second time Cobalt's got him with that edge guard, and he's cutting the double jump immediately. I think if a bait just waits for the shine, cool. he'll still have his double jump, and then he can reverse edge guard, or at least kill him both. <gasps> did, did That's he really? insane. He did not. But he's going to live it, though, yeah. Cobalt leaving the ledge a bit early. I think he probably meant to like, just jump refresh. Yeah. But he ended up just getting up by ice. Then. And there's some fire selling we might expect to see. Jeez, and despite the SD, look at this. This is, this is elite. This was the same <laughs> exact elite. thing that we saw in uh, game five of his set with Ginger. He yeah. SD'd his first stock, but it, he just went off. Um, oh my god. god. Making the matchup look downright unwinnable. Collins is starting to not play. I'm not going to lie to you. He's not, remember how we talked about at the beginning of the set? He's starting to not to play as wonky. Uh, he's, he's not playing as weird. He seems a little bit more defined. I just think he's warmed up. I think he is too. And maybe that could be it. Maybe. Again, he's he's killed himself twice this match, and he still has so a full stock. Still team. has a full stock. Team. Okay. What we haven't really seen too much from a bait, we're not seeing these huge punishes that characterize his play. And that's normally what helps him stay in these, these sets, but... Oh, can't even get a trade with the side oh, there. Oh, I like how he tried to, like... Bait out for that, uh, that up air. Yeah. And up smash is gonna kill really soon. Nice voodoo dash. Shout out to voodoo. F tilt takes the stock. And this is a bait's last stock of the tournament, potentially. Cobalt playing so well, controlling the stage like no one else. Okay. That's gonna be it. Yeah, okay. And so shout outs to a bait for fourth place at one of the most stacked events in the history of Ohio. Cobalt moving on to losers finals against Ryan Ford, the yep. rematch from winner semis. Glad to see that Cobalt seriously cleaned it up versus Bait this time around. Yeah. Before at uh, at Redacted, and even said.